All right, Cowboy Nation, I really appreciate you all. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Cowboys Experience. We have a special guest, a mystery guest. My name is Dixon Edwards. I am a three-time Super Bowl champion with the Dallas Cowboys from the 90s. Yeah, you got to go in the Wayback Machine to figure that out, right? Way back. He wore number 58, right? Yes, sir. Yes, number 58. I played strong outside linebacker. So that's Sam. That's it. That's it. I played the Sam linebacker. They actually, you know, the crazy thing is they recruited me to be a wheel linebacker. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So my best year statistically was was uh, playing weak outside linebacker. Uh -huh. And guess what team? It was the Vikings. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking of that. Then how do you feel about Jameis and LBE, those two guys right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that uh, you already saw one of the linebackers break the bank. Right. You just imagine what's going to happen when uh, Van Der Edge gets his contract. I, I believe last year, uh -huh. the only reason why the team was successful was because Van Der Edge was on the team. I'm talking about the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. It was Van Der Edge was the, was the reason why they were successful last year. So you think he's a better wheel linebacker than he is a Mike? Or at the middle linebacker? It doesn't matter where that man is on the field. Wow. Man, I think Van Der Edge, if you put him down in defense, yeah. he's going to be a factor for the team. Then, and you know, and you just think about it as an offensive coordinator, you got to account for this man at all times. Sure do. You know, so yeah. I think you know, with him, Jalen there, uh, Sean Lee, mm -hmm. him, his presence and his uh, experience, I think they have a great linebacker core. When you're speaking about linebacker core, how much do you guys feed off the front door? Because oh. a lot of times. Cowboy Nation, a lot of people yeah. that's live on my show, they always say we need that big trash can for the dirt that can put inside, they can play at zero if you want to line them up there, yeah, you play yeah, the one. Yeah. And we don't have that guy. We don't have that three, three, yeah. three thirty. Well, I mean, I, when I was in high school, we didn't have a lot of, <laughs> lot of, lot of big guys, and, right. they, and they played nose tackle. Huh. But, you know, it, I got spoiled when I had Russell Maryland, Russell. Uh, yeah. Leon Lett, Tony Casillas, um, uh, J Jimmy Jones uh -huh. uh, in front of me. They kept me clean and free. As wow. long as the defensive linemen, I don't care what size they are, they can hold the three mm -hmm. so that the linebacker can get over top, they'll be fine. Rob Barrett, he plays one, one, one gap system. Yeah. He wants those guys to shoot gaps and get up there. Yeah. So you see a lot of that with Rob Barrett's defense opposed to what, I guess, what we call, who was the defense coordinator from the 90s? Right? Oh, that was Dave, Dave Wanstead and then Butch, Butch Davis and then uh, it was uh, uh, Dave Campbell. So you, the similarities or different? Well, I mean, I, like I said, I, I see a bunch of young, hungry guys. You know, the one, the only thing that disturbed me early in the season was that they looked a little bit out of shape in the right. beginning, but now they look like they're, you know, they've already come into. You usually don't get in shape, in, uh, you don't get in shape for a game uh, to play until about the third game of the season anyway. Uh -huh. But now that they've all in shape and they're all shooting their gaps, the guys are pursuing to the ball, and you can definitely see that in the wins that they've been getting. Man, this is some good information from Dixon Evans. <laughs> Three-time Super Bowl champion, man. Yeah. And he's give, he giving us a lot of information that we don't have uh, uh, insights to. But until now, anything that you uh, want to tell the nation that you are doing right now? Charity, oh, well, let me see. Well, I have a charity called Sports Arts yes. and Media. And that, that mentors the 8th grade, 8th and 12th grade students on all the behind-the-scenes production and putting on sports and arts-related events. Uh, we, we should hopefully be signing a lease soon. Wow. And uh, yeah, we're going to get the whole thing rolling. Yeah, we're going to change the world. Change the world <laughs> one day at a time, one movement at a time. And you do it through the media. <laughs> right, what we're doing right now. That's speaking of time, that's been our time. I really appreciate you all. Thank you all. Don't forget, follow Dixon Edwards Charity. Follow everything that we are doing out here at Cowboys Experience. And hit up Barry Griffin if you guys want to come out here and do these type of events. That's yeah. been our time. And remember, you all are listening in to nothing but the best. Salute. We out.